Hey, shoot for the core! Aim for the core! That's right! Boss music! Because it's boss time! Booyah! We're here with a King of Fighters 98 shirt because if there's two things the Neo Geo is known for, it's fighters and shooters. Boom! But first, we've got some Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey Whiskey. Oh yeah, original recipe. So, and we've also got a, uh, from the extended family, this nice wood cup, as well as a wood sake holder, but it is supposed to enhance the flavor of, especially of whiskey, so should have gotten rid of the plastic first. And if this takes more than eh, 30 seconds, we're going to have to restart this thing. Come on. Should have had a knife. And where are the perforations? Come on, people. What are you thinking? All right, there's something. All right. There we go. Booyah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, air conditioner is going, so I just dropped it on the floor. Okay. Yeah, that smells pretty good. Okay. Got a decent amount there. Hmm. All right. Well, hey, 31 days of shooters. The Neo Geo block. Here we go. Uh, yeah, hey, ain't too bad. Pretty smooth. I bet that would make for some great whip mixers like a uh, honey Lynchburg lemonade or something. But anyway, like we said, we're talking about Neo Geo today for some really uh, good shooters here. Because, yeah, if you are playing King of Fighters, you were playing a shooter, or you were playing Bust a Move, and yeah, that was my university life. Now, we're going to wait with that just a second. We're starting off first with Ghost Pilots here in the cardboard box. Uh, I got the front there, got the back there, Ghost Pilots on the side, that side unfortunately is a little faded, but uh, you'll find with a lot of stuff that ultraviolet lights and the sun are very, very damaging, so, you know, what can you do, it's, unless you get a time machine, which might be cheaper than buying some of the Neo Geo games that I don't have. Uh, so, you got the Ghost Pilot manuals here, and you know this is the only one because it has the big manual and the cardboard box. Uh, Ghost Pilots use the manual. There's some story action. Yeah, this is how to play, saving and loading. <laughs> and remember, if you had the cards, you could stick those in the system. And then take that to your arcade if it had a dedicated machine. There's some uh, more information. This is going to be fun. And yeah, so see, I'm not all about the sci-fi shooters. We've got some realistic ones here. Uh, so what do you got? Shot, bomber, and one up. So item information here. Some power-ups there. Should be pretty fun. Uh, recommended by Luke Morse One actually over Last Resort, which uh, a lot of people on the Neo Geo for Life page tend to like. Uh, maybe skip it. Uh, there's intro. Yeah, introducing your pilots: Tom, Philippe, and Charlie Stein Stingray. And their planes and tanks. Whoa, are these enemies, perhaps. So that's gonna be interesting. Looking for and just some Neo Geo, how to take care of your cart and the memory in the back. So pretty cool there. Take a look at the cart itself. Look at this bad boy. I don't have a regular size one to show you, but boom, there it is. And of course, it's got a nice end label and SNK made in Japan. This, uh, actually, hmm, 
doesn't look like it's seen much wear, but uh, we'll see about that. Okay, so that's our Ghost Pilots for the Neo. Next up is on this bad boy. And when they were releasing the Neo Geo Mini, I thought it was cool, but I didn't like the look of the Japanese machine. And the international version was just a repaint. So, because I was familiar with the big red cab in North America, which were awesome. But then they released the Christmas version, and I'm like, it's red, so let's go for it. So, there's the front. You got the side here. 48 Neo Geo games. The Legacy Lives On Neo Geo Mini with a red controller as well. Uh, and, of course, you can play both on the system itself or on the controller. Uh, 48 games are included in this version, including what I'll be playing, if I can find it, if I can find it, yeah, this is the Japanese version, so, what? And yet it says Alpha Mission 2, yeah, this is ASO 2 or Alpha Mission 2, so that's one of the shooters I'll be playing here. And yeah, I mean, this is a really cool system. Might as well unbox it while we're here. Uh, doo, doo, doo. Uh, it comes with several boxes on top. This is anti-slip cushion, HDMI cable, character stickers, and a HD screen protector. Of course, I've already seen all of this, but uh, you may have not. So... so. Okay, so this is, I guess this is character stickers, uh, and that's all I can see from there. Or, oh, those might be character stickers. Okay, this has got to be the anti-slip cushion. Okay, this is our screen protector in here. This is, I think these are our stickers, and it comes with a red. HDMI cable. Now that's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's see here. Uh, do, do, this is the power cable. SNK40. So that should be, what, 2020? Well, no, I think it was before that. Also red. Very cool. Uh, everything is red which uh except for hdmi being you know everything else is proprietary uh, do, 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 do. hey we just made an unboxing video there's two of these so i'll only do one this is the controller and this is the uh neo geo i think it's cdz type uh yeah i think i unboxed the other one when i used it uh so, it does have the uh, thumbstick here, uh, gold buttons, that's pretty cool. I don't think there were any color coordinated uh, things like uh, you tend to see these days on games with the uh, ABXY on Xbox uh, with their respective colors or the circle, square, triangle, cross, or X. Uh, on PlayStation with their respective colors because uh, yeah there weren't really quick time events back in the day it was either button mashing or whatever so it comes with two of those controllers and I'm not sure if they come with one or they came with one originally because uh, they were selling alternates like white and black for extra controllers so maybe somebody knows and finally yeah there it is pick that out since you've already done it uh like we said you got the knob here uh there's a neo geo i think that's the power button on the back start select so be cool on the bottom snk uh yeah so i mean it's a great way to play some neo games if you don't have uh neo and i'm sure you can find one that, that you like because uh they had some samurai spirits ones or Samurai Showdown with uh, different colors like light blue for uh, Ukiyo or something 
This is just uh, information on how to set that up. But uh, we don't need any of that right now. What is going on here? Okay, well, I'm going to have to put that in properly later. Okay, so yeah, we'll be playing Alpha Mission 2, ASL 2 on that. And then, a little cheat sheet in the back. Then we've got something interesting. Because, uh, I, like I said earlier, most of the, well, in a different video, most of the shooters are either going to be horizontal or vertical. Uh, some, like Gyrus, that's circular. But this one is isometric, so it's diagonal and gives you a 3D kind of feel here. This is viewpoint. And you can see viewpoint on the side there. Uh, the back and it's a little beat up but I mean again most Neo Geo games are again this is a little early on so you've got the longer booklet and viewpoint there's a little bit of story blurbs or whatever leading uh, again black and white but what can you do Oh, that's weird. That is diagonal, but it looks like it's going the opposite direction of the one I played, unless they sort of change directions during the game. That would be interesting. Starting up, loading, yada yada. Okay, uh, viewpoint specs. Now, see, this looks more like the direction I was playing, going from bottom left to top right. And these are. Different types of bombs after you pick them up, I believe. And, oh, on the right side, those were other items. Barrier, 1-Up, and Bonus. These are character and stage introductions. Now, see, these are all going the right way. So maybe that, that one screen was uh, printed the wrong way. Or I was just looking at it wrong, so. Who knows? There's, oh, wow. That was just the first stage. This is the second stage. And this is a really difficult one. So, the initial goal will be to just beat the first stage. Alright. Uh, anything after that will be gravy. Of course, we'll try to beat it. But, uh, including the games that are unbeatable, our track record has not been the best this time, unfortunately. Okay, so we got viewpoint there. Uh, viewpoint on the top and again SNK made in Japan on the back and this one seems to have a little bit more wear than the other one but uh, yeah unfortunately also when you're buying Neo Geo games these days not only are they stupid expensive but uh, you always run the risk of them being a well not reproduction cart but uh, a converted cart from the arcade to AES so you never know unless you open it up and find out but anyway next up we've got Sonic Wings 2 boom now this was an awesome pickup because uh, I mean there were the original days where it was expensive then there were the Good days was was expensive, but you could find some cheap ones like my Samurai Spirits one or two was uh, about a thousand yen, which was amazing. Uh, this was before the second large expansion, when uh, resellers started buying everything, and of course when the pandemic hit, there was another boom, especially for GameCube. And of course, as people grow up. They're going to start collecting for the systems they had as a kid if they didn't have their or keep their old games. So uh, there's many factors, but uh, I managed to snag this and three games. So a four game bundle for a really decent price back when I was picking up a few titles here and there off auctions. But Sonic Wings 2, there's the front, got the side there. Again, doesn't look too bad. Uh, there's the back. And it's 102 mega, the 100 mega shock, 
Oh man, freaking Neo Geo was awesome. And you already noticed here that we've got a CD size or jewel case size manual here, but it does say ROM. So the Neo CD will say CD. Uh, but obviously, to save costs on printing and whatever, they only made uh, one size fits all. Uh, just with a different design. There's the inside cover there, and we got some color. Hey. Uh, again, how to take care of your system. A little bit different, and some characters now. They love characters here. But why not? Okay, there's the opening story, and it explains the controllers and the screen there. So already we've sort of evolved. That looks like a Tomcat. Uh, what is that? That's the title. Game level. Okay, so yeah, easy, normal, hard, and what does it say? Does it say MBS? This is MBS. So that's uh, wait, what? This says easy, normal, MBS, hard, but the game screenshot says easy, normal, hard, MBS. MBS being the arcade version. So we'll see. Three data, Yobi, Dashino. What? Okay, load the cards and select your character. Item show our introduction there. Boom. Don't know how much of it you can see. Uh, pilot introduction. You got. It's like Keaton and Silver. And next up, the oh man, the oh Hien. Hey, yay for English. Mao Mao. Uh, Shinshia, shouldn't that be Cynthia perhaps, and Ellen, and then Whitey the Dolphin, are you serious? Flying a YF-23, uh, Mao Mao flies an F-15J Eagle, uh, there we go, Cynthia and Ellen, and the F-14 Tomcat, uh, oh wow, Keaton was flying an F-117, I think that's the stealth bomber. Yeah, well, it says stealth uh, and kanji. I can't read. So those, there are those five guys. And two more. You've got Angela. Who's flying a Rafaru. Okay. And Arthur. AVB Harrier 2. Oh. Okay. And then... <laughs> they're random... Uh, dolphin there, which again was Whitey the, Whitey the Dolphin. That's interesting. Oh, wow, 06. I believe that's an Osaka phone number. Uh, don't call them. And, and if you do call them, especially, don't tell them I told you to call them. I, don't, I doubt that number would even be functional anyway. But uh, yeah, we're not trying to uh, <laughs> DDoS. Neo Geo headquarters SNK here, but but that's pretty cool. Trying to get all that air out of the the baggie so we can close this up. So we'll be playing Sonic Wings 2, and then next up after that, eh, unfortunately this is way out of my price range, and this is probably pretty expensive now too on the Dreamcast. We've got Twinkle Star Sprites. And, yeah, that's one of those. I mean, I was working six days because I had to get an apartment and I had to get a TV. I just had to, you know. And, yeah, once those were paid, I stopped working six months. But if I knew I was going to get into collecting Neo Geo, I would have kept at it just a little bit longer. Uh, to knock out some of the what would now be termed heavy hitters because yeah they're just stupid expensive right now I think this was affordable uh, one time when I was in Akihabara looking at a lot of the games there's the disc you can see oh what let's shoot and Tyson shooting there we go again 31 days of shooters what can I say uh, do, 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 do. I guess that's all we got. But okay, we got the Obi, of course. And actually, 
this auction was listed as not having the OB, but there was an auction that was list or just for the OB. So of course I snatched them up because I want to combine the games, make them whole again. And then I get this thing and it comes with the OB. So I can't explain that. If you have Twinkle Star Sprites, Japanese for the Dreamcast and you are missing an OB and you want an OB, let me know. I will do my best to find it and then we can arrange something. But uh, anyway, uh, Dreamcast, Senual Soft, uh, before you play your Dreamcast software, so all the warnings, probably epilepsy in there and stuff. Uh, just your table of contents with some great artwork there. And you've got controls. Uh, they're hawking the joystick here and show you how to what to do with the memory card. So if you've got those peripherals, then that's for you. Uh, starting the game, you got title, mode select, character select, uh, two players, continuing, uh, CPU. So, does that mean you're playing against someone or you can use that for a uh, second player? That would be interesting. Or is it a versus shooter? I think maybe that's what it is. Because, yeah, I've always seen it with two screens. Uh, or maybe you're playing the, in two-player mode. You're probably playing the computer. That would make more sense. I don't know. We'll find out. Let me pop this bad boy in. Wow, well, lots of stuff I really don't understand. A uh, whole lot of options, though. Look at that. Boom. And that's in English. So, player left. So, players remaining. Difficulty versus round. Uh, background music. Buttons. So, configuration. Language. Games. Ooh, language. Japanese, English, Spanish. Hey, look at that. That's pretty cool. Uh, game speed. Score bug. Okay, vibration, sound output, trace play, vibration? Was there a pack you stuck into the Dreamcast controller for vibration? I don't remember having it. Uh... Anyway, how to demo. So that's probably how to play. Uh, option save, cancel and exit. Uh, using the memory card, and those were cool on the Dreamcast controller, the VMUs. What is that? Are those enemy formations or Omake Corner? I have no. If you, anyone can tell me what that is, uh, explain that. Or maybe I'll have to watch a YouTube video or just figure it out while I'm playing. Okay, we got some character introductions. Rodoran, Yari, Tiru. And Arthur Schmidt. Boom. And that. Yan Yan Yan. Nan Ja Monja. Maki and Penteru. And Do Kespe. I, you can tell I really have no idea what the heck's going on here. Uh, Tinka and Rinka, Griffon and Evin and Bon. Okay, maybe Bon. Dakuran. Uh, so it looks like the opposite of the main character. Mavis? Mavius. Probably Mavius? Mobius. Because, yeah, I think Mobius is uh, pronounced differently here. Do the, the phonics. Memory, Joe O, or Queen, and Sprites. Twinkle Star Sprites. So, there we go. Okay. As always, made by SNK. Some good stuff there. Uh, yeah. So that is one, two, three, four, five. Number six. We're going back here for a woo.
door. For a quick one, uh, well, maybe not a quick one, but let's careful with the box. Let's see if I can find it. Where is it? I wasn't able to get my hands on Pulsar, but I believe Blazing Star is the sequel. And I can't find the little icon, although honestly, I doubt you can. This also, oh, there it is. So, Blazing Star right there. Uh, 1998 shooter, so a later release on the Neo, and ridiculously expensive as well. I'm not sure, but that might go all the way up to eight grand, which is just ridiculous. Twinkle Star Sprites is also on this, but you know, I wanted to uh, show you something else. Uh, and finally, well, we also got another trip. Boom! So I mentioned there were two places where I can play old games. And the second place is where I should be, hopefully, be able to get uh, my hands on Ironclad slash Brickinger, which is also a fortune. But uh, that'll be fun to play. And then finally, uh, you've got the Neo Geo dev team, which apparently is NG Dev now. And they changed the name for some reason. They take forever to ship and manufacture as well as develop, but they did do a few... I guess you could turn them home brows, but they, uh, home brow, home brews, uh, yeah, that's not the whiskey, I'm totally sober. It's, uh, the, this is Fast Striker, and they did release this on the AES, which I didn't get, 2D arcade shooting game, and as you can see, it's very modern looking, uh, artwork and style wise compared to the rest of it, but yeah, it's amazing what, uh, they can do on the homebrew scene. This is, of course, for the PS4, as you can see, there's the disc, and uh, which does mean it has trophies, for better or for worse. There are the controls, and yeah, because it's an independent uh, release, it has a manual. Holy crap, look at that. There's the user, inter user interface and story, multiplier score, chain meter, grind meter, extends, shields, so extends are probably continues, right? Oh, or lives mode rank enemy grind beam ship credits yeah, I don't know if you can see that might do some gameplay on this who knows uh, then there's the stage information I think I beat stage five and then died and then unfortunately didn't get back to playing it lists the trophies some of them are really hard like complete the game which I haven't done yet. Complete Maniac mode, I don't know. Unless we either get good or get infinite continues, I don't see that happening. There's some enemies. So, again, really great artwork. Uh, really great artwork in game. Uh, there are your characters, Popo, Chloe, Valentine, and Max Speed. That's an interesting name there. And all the people who designed it. So, great work there. I think they're in Germany, but... Uh, if I'm wrong, don't quote me on that. But yeah, that's Fast Striker. And that's going to close out the Neo Geo block of 31 Days of Shooters. So, I, as always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you're enjoying 31 Days of Shooters and playing and drinking responsibly if you are. But uh, yeah, so we'll play these, have some fun. And until next time, have a good one.